Do you want to make the fan one of the essentials since you've already got it? Yeah, that's all. I don't know. What up, what up? It's your boy French Montana. These are my essentials. You already know what it is. Hat. Obviously, this is one of them. I stay cool out here, you know? Even though I got this on sometimes, you know, you gotta keep it real with yourself. Try to keep that, um, um, ratata young whip I look on. Can never let them see you sweat. The most important things, my sensuals that I like to keep in my pocket. And everything play uh, a different part and a different reason, as you can tell. Definitely can't go, you know, with your hairline in the back in the car behind you, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta definitely make sure you got that down five. And sometimes your hair, when you got that good hair, you know what I'm saying, it might go to the left, might go to the right. Any given moment, hit yourself. Your lips can never look like they're about to crack and bleed. Never, you should never have chapped lips. There's no excuse for it. There's no reason why you should be walking around with your lips like that. You can never have your breath smell like you're hungry. Your breath can ruin everything for you, a business deal, uh, late night, you might have everything right as soon as you open your mouth, you know, you lose everything. Example, just like that. And this right here, very important. When everything starts going, getting too crazy, whatever it is, middle of the night, is my little lavender pouch. It's this smell that I love, you know, you just go like this, just calm down, smooth your body out. This right here, I can't even show you the name, I don't know why I'm even doing this. This cologne that I got in India, and ever since I first put it on, it was just the best smell I ever smelled. You know, every time I hug somebody, they feel the same way. They want to find out, but I'm not giving them where, where to get it from. I know I might be the first one to show you these, but it's very necessary to stay safe out there. You, know, you never know what could happen. You never know what could pop up. You know, everybody, you know, think these are not important, but these are very important. Enjoy yourself, but enjoy yourself safely. Especially the lifestyle we live, you know? Break. <laughs> <laughs> this right here is something special, you know, um, coming from New York. And just like, you know, always going to the. See, this one, I have my name on it, by the way. So you know how much I love um, Hooker. We usually used to go to Fordham Road, Dykeman, uptown, all the Dominicans. And, you know, this this is supposed to be like, you know, the number one thing. I mean, basically, it's something, it's something that brings everybody together. Just like how some people play dominoes, how some people do. It's like a traditional, you know, culture thing. A little Ciroc, a little 1942 in the hookah. Hookah. When I'm done doing all the interviews and the shows and everything, I like to be comfortable in the house and relax. And it's the best to do it in some China silk, some Egyptian cloth, some microfiber, or some, and I, I lose a lot. A lot get stolen, a lot get misplaced, leave a lot. So it's like probably ran through a hundred of them. And if you wear robes, you wear sandals. You know, I love being comfortable, especially in my own sanctuary, my own house. These just happen to be um, a one-on-one -on -one Versace sandals that, you know, my guy, he saw me, you know, in the mix and, you know, he wanted to make something special for me. So these are Versace one-on-ones. I mean, you never see these again. Somebody you look up to, you know what I'm saying? You know, make something to give you a one-on-one, -on -one, make you an exclusive. It's like going to the club, like, you know, going VIP. This is what this is. Versace. I mean, I guess you gotta look good when you travel. At the end of the day, you still got clothes in it, and it represents you traveling. And this right here is uh, their new collection, and I hate traveling, so I really don't like looking at luggage, but it's still one of my favorite things, so it match the clothes. Um, it's like one of my favorite um, sandwich places. I just woke up craving it. Coming from New York, you know, the, um, the thing we used to do was just go walk up to the corner spot, bodega, and get a sandwich and get a soda and some salt and vinegar chips, or barbecue chips or something. So it was something that was accessible to us. Especially if you was a hustler on the block, you just go right there to the corner. And you know, them Puerto Ricans, Dominicans made the best sandwiches. It's hard for us out here to find a good one, but when you do, you stay, you stay close to it. So this is something I fell in love with, like when I started making music. You know, sometimes like after after all the long days in the studio, you just sit there and just, you know, 
So I'll play with it. I never took classes to learn songs, intellect to learn certain things because I always want to follow the sound. You know, music is a language. And I just, I just learned how to play it with my ear. And after I started playing, it became like a therapy thing. And sometimes I would just be, you know, have a glass of wine, just play guitar and just flow, you know what I mean, flow with the sound. Obviously, you know, when you ride around, you try to listen to music. You want to ride right, you want to pull up right. I want to be one of the people that own the cars. You know, so I can stop, you know, paying, wasting money, and just have it right there in the lot. I've always been a fan of um, Phantoms. I mean, why not? But when they came out with the Condé, it was just like, more space heat. And it's after the biggest diamond that they ever found, you know. But it works, you know what I'm saying? It works. And, and you know, it's growth. Even though a lot of people look at it like, why are you wasting your money, this and that? I feel like, what's the reason of making money if you can't buy the things you, you know, you once dreamed about? It was worth it. So here it goes. As everybody know, I'm an animal lover. I love animals. And since I was young, I always had dogs. But this is my first time getting a massive. I've always been a fan of them. And I just wanted to see, like, how can a dog get this big? I never thought that, you know, a dog could really reach 300 pounds. Like sometimes I'll be in the backyard and he look fake. I swear, like he's, he's, he's nine months old. He look like a bear. I mean, sometimes I walk him, he would just be like, what is this? Especially people that be walking like a little chihuahua. Yeah, champ, that yeah, might be my number one. You know, that's like my kid.